one. Yes, the lighting is very bad right now. But that's because I am using this lighting to work on some of Liam's birthday party stuff. Yeah, it's my birthday. Your birthday was in December, but we celebrate. Why, why is it on December? That's when you were born, but we, we celebrate it in February to give it a break from Christmas. Um, and I'm currently working on ties, you know, Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, or not Ravenclaw. Slytherin, Ravenclaw, and then I don't have Hufflepuff out yet because that just needs black. These ones I need to do a layer of white so that the other colors stick out. Um, I've also been working on um, wands for the kids. So I've been making, let's see if I can get better lighting. Um, Let's see. Oof. Wands as well for all the kids. Um, so I've been trying to do all of this and get it all done and over with by tomorrow because um, his actual birthday party is the 17th, so next Saturday. Um, but I have my survey tomorrow for my port. And I'm not sure how sore I'm going to be and how, um, oops, like dabbing this paint. I don't know how that's going to feel. So I am trying to get all this done tonight. Um, see how that goes. Um, I think the recovery for ports isn't too invasive, but then again, my skin's not, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just concerned that I won't be able to get this done because I'm going to be sore. So I'm trying to do it now. Um, whew, wow, the stocking's getting me out of breath. I ordered Liam's cake today. It's very hard to find a Harry Potter cake, um, but I found someone cake. for your birthday party next weekend. Um, I was able to find, uh... Harry Potter like printable image like an edible image type cake um, Walmart is gonna make it um, I couldn't find an actual like Harry Potter cake like you would normally get from a cake place without spending a ridiculous amount of money considering um, I think they're well we invited like 40 people um, you know how that goes you invite certain people you're like oh well, I invited them I should invite them so I just it just starts, uh, starts adding up. Um, but that's okay. It's, we always have fun. It's always a blast getting together with all your friends and family. Um, and this time it is not going to be at my house. Um, just because it's just going to be way easier. You can't have your cake now. Um, it, they got to make it still, honey. You can't make it now. Walmart's going to make it. He wants this cake now. Anyways, um, so it's gonna be at our um the church we attend. Um, we're just gonna hold it in the gym. It'll be nice and easy. They have all the tables we need. It'll just be easy cleanup. I don't have to worry about my house getting trashed. That's a bonus for me, if you ask me. Um, so, but. Yeah, so that is what's going on. I am just dabbing a whole bunch of white all over these, not scarves, or these ties. Um, we are going to sort each child into a house. Um, we have um, the sorting hat. Oh, look at this gray hair right here. You see that? That's disgusting. That's a gray hair. You know how I could tell? Because it's like scraggly. I really need to get my hair colored. Look at that. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, like I said, we're gonna sort each child into a house for Gryffindor. Are you gonna be a Gryffindor? Yeah. Yeah. Gryffindor Harry. Um. So, but this is should be a lot of fun. Um, both Liam and I are really into Harry Potter and some would beg to differ but I did not 
paw and Harry Potter off onto him. I'll shoot you. Um, tape. That's what's gonna get. Mommy. Um, so Mommy, I got a canker sore. You got a canker sore? Yeah, it makes me nervous when you get canker sore sometimes. So, alright. So, for those who are new, I have lupus as well as some other stuff. And, um, canker sores are really common lupus. And some molar rash, like the red cheeks that go around here. And I get really nervous because sometimes it could be passed down to your children. And he gets canker sores a lot. And he gets this the redness here a lot too so I'm like oh gosh on top of all your other stuff you don't need that so I really hope that it just doesn't get passed down passed down to him um, it is what it is we do it Nina <laughs> look at how cute she is what are you doing you think you're a cat do you think you're a cat do you think you think <laughs> careful honey so, that is what's going on. I'm going to finish this up um, and try and get some more of this decorating done. <sighs> yep, that's all that's really going on. Not too nervous about my surgery yet tomorrow. I know that once um, I'm there in the operating room and they're putting me under, I'm going to be like, ugh. Um, but... It is what it is. It's gonna be what's for best for me, and it is what it is, you know? Oh well. But I'm gonna let you go for now. Continue working on these, and I will vlog as much as I can tomorrow. Um, I don't see why it would be too hard to do that. Obviously, they're not gonna let me vlog all of it, um, but I'll vlog as much as I can. So, um, those of you who. Um, who may have a port in their future can kind of see what it's like. Um, obviously, there's other videos on YouTube, but this I'll, I'll vlog my experience with it. So, all right, I'll talk to you guys later. Good, good morning, everyone. Um, Hi. <laughs> my son knows when I'm vlogging. Um, so today is the day of the port surgery, and guess what? School canceled and there's no snow on the ground. They're, I think they're um, anticipating a lot of snow coming, but uh, a lot of schools closed. I don't say hi to everyone, but so we are going to drop them off. Aunt, not Aunt Emily, but Aunt. Bye. Bye. You're crazy, there. They sticking up for the yeah. windmills. So, all right, I'm going to get Finn's get dressed, yeah. get ready. Um, to go to Jair's. You're going to go to Jair's, yes. Jair's house. Your cousins. And um, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Wait. We just signed in. Now we're going to the waiting room. <laughs> oh, don't fall. <laughs> Watch this face, guys. Oh, nice. Thanks. So I am all ready to go in and get my porn. It's the last time you're going to see this clean chest. Um, so, see you at my surgery. What is your deal? This is... Uh-huh. There's something in my chest. Yeah. It's a port. It's supposed to be there. Don't touch it. What? Don't touch it. I want to see. Well, we'll look at it in a while. Okay. Just just leave it alone. I checked the seat up. <laughs> hey. 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 Do you like the medicine? I want to take some home. You do, huh? They said I can. Yeah, I asked too. They definitely said no. I feel... Leave it alone. <sighs> hey. What? Don't mess with your thing. It's got to heal, okay? I just want to see... Well, we will look at it in a little bit. I... Just relax. You're my someone special. What? You're my someone special. Are you sure? 
Yeah. Your sister's in the waiting room. What? Your sister's in the waiting room. Why? Remember, she said she was going to come. Oh. Yeah, she's in the waiting room. I like this stuff. Yeah, I can tell that you do. Mm -hmm. Can I get an report on the other side? I think one's enough. <laughs> Do you remember the surgery? I remember big lights. Yeah. What else do you remember? I had a big TV in there. Oh, yeah? <laughs> what, were they watching the game? I told them to watch scary movies so they could jump when they <laughs> put it in. And Yeah, I talked to the doctor. He said you did good. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he said he got it over far enough so it shouldn't bother with your, uh, like, your bra strap oh, and your seatbelt so he much. Oh, God, listen to me. He's such a good guy. Yeah. I like him. <laughs> I like them all. They want to keep my arms under the blanket. Yeah, you need to stay warm and leave your thing alone. You're getting some saline right now. I feel it a little bit. It feels... <laughs> what does it feel like? I don't know yet, but I, I can tell. It was... oh, it's cold. I can feel it now. <laughs> I want to go back under. No, you got to stay awake now. You gotta recover so we can go get Are her. they infusing in my pore? No. Where are they infusing? Oh, from? maybe. I don't know. Is it? Just, no, no. It's in your... Stop. Stop. I'm it's just it. looking. There's bandages. It's in your arm, huh? Yeah. Oh, same, yeah. Same, remember they put that in earlier? Yeah. They probably want to let that heal for a little bit. Hey, do you want something to drink? Here you go, know, apple, apple. Your bartender has returned. There you go. You want to step a little more, hon? Thank you. The site looks great. So Good. Everything looks wonderful. She's just hilarious. And she won't. Yes. Did you get it? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> More drugs. Nope. No, 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 no. You How much know. does this stuff cost? <laughs> it's not available for sale. What? There's big lights in there. Yeah. I like the lights. <laughs> Photography lights. No. They're probably too light. That's okay. That's very okay. <laughs> I feel so happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cold. <laughs> I'm happy cold. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> you thirsty? I got my own. They got, yeah. they got you one? Yeah. Oh, they're so nice here. Yeah, very nice. What's it taste like? My apple juice? Whoa, there's something in my chest. Yeah, it's a port. I think you know that. I know, but it's just crazy to think about something in my mm. chest. And threading to my heart. <laughs> Whoever comes up with this stuff. <laughs> I know. Just thread tubing to someone's heart. <laughs> oh, so cold. Yeah, you're tweaking out. Do you want me to put that down so you can get it back under your cover? Yeah. Okay. Backpack. 
It's a vib vib vibration backpack. It's a what? Vibration backpack. And what is it? Why is why is it vibrate? It doesn't vibration. It's vibes. Good vibes. <laughs> but it comes <laughs> with a water camel in it, and it threads up through your strap. I don't have the water bottle in there. I don't have saline. And I'll thread the tubing out through the strap. Connect it to my chest. <laughs> I'm gonna be hydrated. <sighs> Are you excited about being hydrated? <sighs> no, we just gotta get me to eat. <sighs> Oh my gosh, you're a disaster. <sighs> Do you need a more apple juice or are you okay? I'm okay. It's too cold. Do you want me to warm up your apple juice? Oh. Oh. Your mom and dad don't put apple juice in the refrigerator. Hey, you don't have to refrigerate oh, apple juice. Yes, you do. No, if you, you look on the package, it says refrigerate after opening. Oh. I, I guarantee you, I'm going to show you, we go to the house after this, and we're going to look at the packaging, and it says refrigerate after opening. Oh my gosh. Are you they sure? Don't, they don't do it. What, what, there could be terrible side effects. Hey, hey, hey dude, what's up? I am done, and I'm on my way home. I just feel tired, but that's it. Just a little sore, but not not terrible. I do have a picture of my X-ray. I'll show you guys later. Quick. Uh -huh. All right. Bye. Well, I gotta see where she's at. It is now evening time. I've been sleeping a lot during the day. Um. I don't know what was recorded. I think Andrew recorded me coming out of anesthesia. Um, and, um, I guess that was pretty funny. I don't know. I'll have to watch the video. I'll, in I'll obviously be putting it in. Um, I didn't record much of the recovery because they had taken my phone <laughs> um, and put it with all my belongings, so I didn't have my phone to record. They did not do an infusion with my port there, which, um, well. which is, uh, I don't know. I'm not, like, wicked concerned about it, but my, um, <coughs> my neurologist is nurse saying that they need to do that first before, um, home care comes to make sure that it's a good working port and I can handle it. I don't know. I don't know, but anyways, um, this mark here was just, if this side didn't work, they would put on this side. So, this mark here is just like a little puncture where they thread, um, I got an x-ray, where they thread the tubing down to the heart here. Oh, uh, let's see. So the top puncture, so they thread the tubing down to the heart, um, and then this um, is the cut where they put the port in, which you can see here. This is the actual port, and the tubing goes up here and then down into the heart. So I thought that was really cool. They gave me the x-ray. Um, as you can tell... Like all the discoloration, all the orange you see, is just from like the stuff they disinfect your um, your skin with, um, and it's stained. So I'm gonna have to go and try and get some of that off later. Um, with my lovely port, I um, I get a special ow. A special card I had to put in my wallet. Um, and, and they didn't give me like a normal port. They gave me what is called a power, power.
power injectable port. So basically, um, if I ever need a, con a CAT scan with contrast, I, I can get it through my port, which is awesome. Um, and if you, oh sorry, show my cleavage here. I, um, he was going to put the port over here more. Um, but I, I asked him to move it in some because if I'm going to be accessed like every day or every other day or something like that, I don't want my bra strap constantly rubbing against where the needles can be in my chest. So thankfully, um, they moved, he moved the, the port slight over for me, which was awesome. Um, so what I, what I got was called a smart port um and this particular that they have like three different versions the one i particularly got like i said was the power injectable port um right now i am sore which is to be expected like muscles and everything um I can take these bandages off in 48 hours, I think it said. And uh, my doctor told me, the guy who did the surgery said 24 hours, but the paper says 48 hours. So I'm just going to go with the paper to be on the safe side. Um, so I keep looking say? up. I'm thinking I'm looking at the camera, but the camera's here. Um, so <laughs> my biggest concern right now is my lungs hurt. And my throat hurts. And I don't know why my throat would hurt because they didn't intubate me. And they didn't do anything up at the neck. Like as you saw in the, um, like right now my throat hurts right here. And, um, as you can see, so my throat is hurting here. They weren't anywhere near my throat with the, with the tubing. So I don't know why my throat would be hurting. And my lungs. Liam, what's Nina whining about? Is she right next to you? No, but yeah. Is she got a ball right there? Is she trying to get you to throw something? Okay, that's what's going on. Alright, I'm just making sure she wasn't hey, whining. Well. Um, but my lungs hurt. So oh, I don't I know if it's. Um, my asthma acting up from, like, the anesthesia and all that, so, um, I don't know. I don't know if I should contact anyone or, <sighs> um, just wait till tomorrow and see what happens, but, so, um, but, it's not wicked painful, I mean, it's sore, and, like, I, I find myself doing this a lot. One, because of the pain, but because it's putting a lot of, like, pressure on my skin because of the, the tape. is like, um, it's like pulling on my skin, so it's like naturally wanting to do this. I'm trying not to because it's like making these muscles stiff. Um, but, it, like I said, it's not too painful. Um, just... A little sore sore here a lot here and then here is where I'm sore I actually don't feel the port I don't feel so I mean, I it's feel making me happy. think that it's like right here but, I feel happy no you feel happy oh that makes me happy that you feel happy and anyways so <laughs> um, <laughs> um Hey, no thank you. No talking dirty. <laughs> Anyways, um, so they put the IV in my arm, my hand, which I um, was grateful they were able to get it the first try because I was very dehydrated. She was very concerned about Nina. What are you doing? Nina, come. Good girl. 
Um, she was very concerned about putting it in here because they don't like it anywhere other than hand unless you absolutely have to. They want your IV in your hand for like when they give you like the anesthesia and everything. Um, and she was uh, very good. She did it in my hand the first try with minimal pain. So that was very, that was very good. I was very happy about that. The last time I had it in my hand when I was in the hospital for an infection. And she went and got a smaller needle, so I'm thinking that when I was in the hospital, they used a much bigger needle. Um, let's see what else. So what they did uh, was in the the pre-op room, they they a whole bunch of like like talking to you about what's going on and signing some papers and talking about the anesthesia and all that, and then um, she loaded me with a bunch of saline. Once that was running for about probably like 15, 20 minutes, mm -hmm. she rolled me back into the pre like, uh, the, like pre op slash recovery room. Was it even a recovery room? I don't think so. So there's like a, there was like two different rooms I was in, like the pre op. Mm -hmm. How would I say this? Like, more like the preparation room. And then she rolled me through all the hallways to the pre-operation room where they put, um, what do they call them, the compression stockings that keeps you from having blood clots and all that. Um, they capped my hair. Um, they talked some more about what was going on, you know, all that. Um, and then... Um, they were very nice. They loaded me with a bunch of heated blankets, which was awesome because it was so, it's always so cold in surgery areas. Um, and then once that was all done and they were all ready for me, they, um, wheeled me into the operating room and it's your typical operating room with the giant lights and there's a big screen TV in there. I'm like, so what are you guys going to do? Watch scary movies in here? I'm like, what do you guys do? Watch scary movies. I'm like, you guys watch Harry, oh, come on, Liam, you're making me say that. You guys watch movies in here during surgeries? And they all get me, I'm like, I'm like, I'm going to watch some scary movies, so when you jump, you poke me. <laughs> they all thought it was pretty funny. Um, I transferred onto the operating table, um, and they strapped me down on the table. Um, I was able to keep all my blankets on, which was really nice. Um, so when I went for the surgery, I had to take everything off but my underwear and my socks. So I was able to keep my <laughs> You said underwear. Yeah, I said underwear. I was able to keep my socks on. Anyways, but while I was on the operating table, they let me keep all my um, socks on. Um, they put an oximeter on my finger. Um, and they put, um, I can't think of what it's called, like heart monitors around me. Um, then they covered me up, and I was able to keep my hands down at my side, which was really nice, just because it's so cold in there. Um, and then once I was under the blankets completely, she goes, I'm giving you yeah, something to relax it. you. She started giving it to me, and I just started feeling really loopy. And they were talking, and then that's all I remember. And then the next thing I remember was being in the first room... Um, in the preparation room, and I just remember kind of like waking up, um, don't really know much about that conversation that I have, that I had with Andrew, I guess I had a big funny conversation with him, um, the next, like, very visible uh, memory I had was, like, Andrew, do you want to see Andrew was like, would you like some more apple juice? And then I said yes, and then I was starting to come out of it there. Thankfully, with uh, Twilight Sedation, they called it, they called it, they called it Moderate Sedation, so I think it's a little bit heavier than when you get, like, an endoscopy. Um, yeah, it was... It's moderate sedation. Um, so, um, 
thankfully when you come out of like that type of anesthesia it's not too long excuse me so um and I was able to go pretty quickly after that within like a half hour half hour 40 minutes I was out of there um so it was very quick um so I'm very pleased with the whole procedure and I was very pleased with everyone there they were all very great um so yeah so that's my port surgery experience um like again sorry I couldn't record more um they just ended up taking my phone and putting it with everything and so I wasn't able to get more recorded but that's okay it was I got what I could and <coughs> um it was a very easy nothing too complicated so um they thought it was interesting that um, I went and watched port surgeries before having a port because I was interested in how they how they do it now and so they thought it was very interesting that I would uh, went and watched port surgeries and uh, I guess people don't do that very often but um, so uh, right now I am probably gonna head out and say good night um, and I will talk to you tomorrow and let you know how <coughs> um, how the recovery is going tomorrow. So good night. Um, I hope you all sleep well and that you guys have a great night. Um, if you could, I'd appreciate it. Uh, go ahead and hit this butterfly to subscribe. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and comment down below, and if you want it to be more private, go ahead and go into the About Me, and somewhere's, I'm sorry, I don't know exactly where, but somewhere's in there you can hit message, and you can just message me if you want it to be more personal and you don't want everyone to see, um, but I am open and willing to answer any questions that you have, and good night everyone, and see you tomorrow.